I feel like a Sherpa going up Everest. We're not even on the steep bit, and my arms are sore. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. 800 watts now. I'm slowing. Guys, I think I've failed. But I will try my best. Man on. Oh, hey Hank, how are you? Um, I need your help with something. I'm in the middle of a GCN training video. Um, what's so important? Well, I don't want to tell you what it is, but I know you love a challenge, so are you keen? Well, you know I'm a yes man, so... Uh... Great, meet me at Hods Hill at 9am tomorrow. Oh, and bring some heavy stuff um, and your favourite plant. OK, bye. Well, that was weird. OK. Right, we're ready for another GCN training video. He's always late. Whoa, 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 steady. Man on. What on earth am I doing riding with a bamboo plant? Well, I'm glad you brought that, Hank, because this is GCN Does Science. We're going to be riding up this climb, which is pretty steep, adding weight to your bike. I say we, you're going to be riding. Yep, that's why you're here. Oh, great. Now, you might be asking why, and that's a very good question. Well, one, it's a laugh, it's fun. Two, Hank, well, he just loves a challenge, doesn't he? And three, in cycling, weight is paramount. You see Tour de France climbers, such as Egan and Vanal, coming in at a weight of around 50 kilos. And then on the other hand, you see sprinters coming in at 70, 80 kilos. But how much is too much? How much weight can we add to Hank and his bike before he fails and has to walk? And most importantly, how much more power does he have to do to get up? But before we start, this is a GCN disclaimer. Don't be as stupid as us and try this at home, because, well, it might not end well. Wait, who are you saying stupid? This is our test climb in the south of England, just outside Bath. This is Hods Hill. I have chosen the steepest section for Hank to do the challenge on. It's around 300 metres long, average gradient of 18% and a max gradient of 25. Although I do think it's a little bit steeper than that. And to top it all off, we've come on a wet day, so it's going to make the challenge even harder for him. But I'm sure he'll love it. Sorry, Hank. Right, Hank, before we start adding weight to your bike, I think you should do a run with no weight added to really, you know, get the feel for the climb, see what you're up against. But give us some stats. What, how much is all this weigh? <sighs> I'm glad you asked that question. Well, I weighed myself this morning, sitting at 70 kilograms, which is six Not kilograms bad. over my race weight. Uh, the bike, 800 kilograms is an F12 frame and full bike is just over seven kilograms. So in total, this is 77 kilograms. Right, 77. Then kilograms up the climb. Record your power. Are you ready? Um, Turn around. Am I ever ready? I'll give you a countdown. All right. On your marks. Get set. Go. Okay. Come on. Up, up, up. It's not timed. It's more if I can make it. Don't forget that. Go on, Hank. Now you might be wondering, how on earth is Hank going to carry all that weight up that climb? Well, check this out. This is the Toe Peak Journey Trailer TX. It's got a 16 inch wheel with a reflective stripe. It's got a mud guard. It's got a waterproof bag with a capacity of 65 litres. And it comes in at a weight of seven kilos. Ouch. Time, one minute, 30 seconds. But we're not worried about that, we're worried about what? Time to go back down. I've converted Hank's fast machine into a towing machine. Pinarello F12 with a trailer. Manon, what on earth have you done to my bike? Do you like it? It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. So, this is going to be a second run with an empty trailer. It does weigh seven kilos, so quite a bit more. How much was your first run? What power output did you have for that first run? So I averaged 380 watts. 
I hit a max of 460. So with a weight of 84 kilograms. Quick maths. Yeah, how much power will I need? And will I even make it up? It'll be interesting to see if you can get off saddle with a trailer. Do you know mm. how... Uh... Well, fingers crossed, I make it up first run. Are you ready? No? Right. Uh, I'm a bit nervous for this one, but I'm going to give it my absolute best shot, man on. Great, that's what we'd like to hear. One more thing before you get started. Just okay, I'm ready. One more thing. Are you going to count me in? Yeah, hang on. Three, two, one, go, go, go! Right, I'm off. That was a bit late, but started. go, 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 I'm come ready. on. It's Man on, it's not time. I know, but still. Go on, Hank. Give it some. 380, 390, 400, 470, 500, 500, 540. Whilst Hank suffers, let's see what I can find to weigh him down. First up, watermelon. Next up, sugar. Not one. Not two, but three. Next up, Hank's favourite bamboo plant. And last but not least, it's some Cotswold stone. Oh, from Hank's dad's house. I'm sitting at 540, just get up now. 540. 510. Ah. 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 Oh, finish. What's that flag doing there? Right, completed. Second run. So Hank, how was it? Give me your stats. Well, um, I didn't account for the added weight you added in the flag. Oh, that's nothing. So, uh, well, thanks for that. But I did, you'll be happy to know, make it up. I did have to average some serious watts though. I More averaged then. 400 watts just to get up it and I maxed out at 565 watts. That's some big power. That's some big power. Did you find it pretty easy though? You, uh, you got up, you I didn't. Got, I got up, um, uh, there was a bit of sliding, so I might need to let some air out the tire. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with my uh, performance there. Well, I think we should step it up a notch. Six kilograms, five kilos, four kilos, and five kilos. So Manon, you've loaded my trailer with an extra 20 kilograms, which yes. brings me to 104 kilograms. Are you ready? That's quite a heavy sprinter now I think about it. That is a very, yeah, heavy sprinter. Right, we'll see how many watts I'm gonna need to get up here. But first, Careful. I think I actually need to let out some air because otherwise I am going to be sliding all over the place. So, there we go. That'll do. Right, you ready? Or I'm, I'm ready. ready, are you ready? <laughs> right, Hank, this is it. And I'm actually gonna try and run up with you because I feel like you, you might fail. You All might right. need a bit of help anyway, I'll be there. Right, are you ready? Yes. Three, two, one, go. I'm actually a bit nervous, it's a slow start. Oh, oh it's a bit wobbly, it's a bit wobbly. Can I get clipped in? I've not clipped in yet. Okay, I'm in. Might need to clip in. Right, I'm in. Right, oh, you're off. Oh, my knees. You're off. That was tough. Right, let's get down and go through the results. Oh, can I get back on? There we are. We're back on. Here we go. Oh. Right, the weather has taken a bit of a turn for the worse, but it's only gonna make it harder, but we're gonna troop on. Hank, how was that and what was his stats? That was absolutely brutal. And I only think I just made it up and we added 20, kilograms so in my last run you may remember at 84 kilograms i averaged 400 watts and to get up that steep bit i had to push down on the pedals 565 watts but this time well this time my average was 30 watts more so 430 but the interesting one was just to get up the steep bit i was out the saddle pushing incredibly hard on the pedals and i was hitting seven 100 watts just to get myself and the weight over the climb. Savage. How do you reckon uh, you're gonna be if we add a little bit more weight? I don't know. I think we're quite close to me not making it up. Close so, to the uh, limit. So let's see how we get on. Well, let's see. What else have we got to add? 
Hank's next added weight is going to be two water bottles. <sighs> See how much these come in at. Five. Ten kilos exactly. So that's going to bring his trailer up to 30 kilos now. So Hank, you did make it up that climb really well. That was impressive, I have to say, but time to step it up a notch again. Right, so that's five kilograms. That's five. Put that in. So that's 109. Another, Another five. five. 114. And Is we're not there? stopping there. What? Man on, no. Bear with. Man on. Now, Hank, I do know it's your birthday. So happy birthday, Hank. Bottle of champagne, because you know, you are climbing a hill with extra weight on your birthday, so. And then you've got your kit bag with a lot of kit and I'll stick that in there so for you too. Six kilograms? Yeah, six kilograms. Don't drop it. So we're 120 kilograms of weight. Oh my gosh! I feel like the bag's gonna make it a bit harder to, you know, when you get out of the saddle, it's gonna be swinging around and precious cargo. My, my uh my arms are already starting to give way so um right. if we make it up here it is going to be an absolute miracle and i'm going to buy a lottery ticket so manon's got absolutely no faith in this run she doesn't reckon that i can get this 120 kilogram body trailer weight up this climb so she's already gone to the top of the climb to cheer me on and to see when I fail. So this leads me to uh, setting off on my own. Right, are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, it's a slow start. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. I feel like a Sherpa going up Everest. Oh, ah. We're not even on the steep bit. And my arms are sore. Ah. It's Hard to get out of the saddle, so much weight in that trailer now. It's slowing. I'm on 600 watts, hitting 700 just to get up. 800 watts now, 800. I'm slowing. Come on, come on. 900 watts. Ah! Ah. Guys, I think I've failed. <laughs> right, and there you have it. Go to your blow. 120 kilos and 900 watts, and I failed. As we all know, climbing up steep gradients is tough, really tough. But what are the forces we are battling against? When we are riding on flat roads, we aim to be more aerodynamic. The faster you go, the more aerodynamics comes into play. We also are trying to overcome the friction coming from our tyres on the road surface. But when we add hills and gradients, there is another force that comes into play. Gravity. The steeper the gradient, the greater the force of gravity becomes. So when we climb, we need to overcome the gravity. The more mass an object has, the greater its gravitational pull will be. Oh God, where to begin? Right, allow me to fact check this. Gravity doesn't increase as you ride uphill. Gravity changes with respect to mass and distance. So if you were riding uphill on a larger planet, such as Saturn, it would be much, much harder. And if you weigh more, gravity pulls you more. Cyclists have to overcome gravity, friction from your drivetrain and tyres, and aerodynamic drag all the time. Gravity doesn't just appear when you travel uphill. If it wasn't there when you were on the flat, you'd just float away. It's just that when you travel uphill and start moving at a slower speed, so drag counts for less, gravity becomes the dominant force you need to overcome. But it's not just that. The added weight also adds more rolling resistance to the tyres. Extra weight causes a greater deformation of the sidewalls and tread of a tyre, thus increasing the rolling resistance. Well, that's minimal, especially when the added mass is on a trailer behind you, Hank. 
Now, in terms of the optimum size of a cyclist, in physics terms, the problem isn't that gravity pulls more weight on riders with greater weight, but it's more to do with allometric scaling. As you increase the volume of a human being, the power that human can produce increases, but it doesn't increase in a linear, directly proportional fashion. So, in simple terms, if you double the mass of a cyclist, you don't double the power that that rider can produce. And that's the most simple way to explain why most top climbers are around 60 to 65 kilograms. It's kind of the sweet spot. But, you know, nice try, Hank. Right, just as I anticipated, Hank, you did come to a fail. And you actually, yeah, had a little bit of a crash, but we're all okay, aren't we? I absolutely hate failing, but I gotta say, I had to sustain some big numbers there. So I was averaging 470 watts, but the interesting number that we're all looking for is I needed 900 watts to get up here. And That's more you, watts can, than Ollie can do. Well, way more than Ollie yeah. can do. And uh, if you're interested of what gear I was riding, I was riding a 34-32, so I still had a fairly small gear. But um, yeah, I've got to say, that was uh, a couple of kilos too many. I knew you'd be the right one for the job, but solid effort, Hank. Um, one more run? No, absolutely I've got not. some more weights in the car. No, 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 no. We're, we're, we're all right for weight. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it won't be on a massive climb with a load of weight. Yeah, uh, do you need some help? Yeah, I do, yeah, man. I also need some crampons. Some more. Go on, give us a push. What's a crampons? Oh, and uh, can you take that stuff up I left there? I, I can't take it up. You know that water and sugar and watermelon? Thanks, my lord. <laughs>